It is said the number one fear is not the fear of death, but the fear of public speaking. The man you're about to meet knows that fear all too well, but turned it around and has now delivered over 200 public speeches in over 20 countries. And he wrote a book that could help you too. Joining us now is internationally renowned speaker Ping Jun, CEO of Smobile and best-selling author of Platform Closing. Ping, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So being this shy, introverted kid my entire life. I don't I, believe it. That what people see is the <laughs> result, right? People look at somebody that has done something and it's easy to, and it's quick, you know, a person can be quickly conclude like, well, of course that person can do it. You know, they make it look so easy. It, it's the same thing as looking at somebody at the Olympics, making a movement look so seamless and easy without realizing that that person has spent time practicing at the gym, doing the same movement over and over and over and over again ever since she was six. Okay. Speaking for me is the same exact thing. I was this shy, introverted kid my entire life. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even do a show and tell in school. I remember wow. calling in sick because of that. Like, that's how bad it was. And speaking for me, it was, I remember the first time I was on stage, um, it was actually in front of a pretty decent size crush of 300 people. Oh my gosh. And I was horrible. Were you nervous? I was so nervous and I was horrible. And because I experienced how horrible it was, mm -hmm. I told myself I never want to go through that experience again. Yep. And that's why I practiced and that's why I got better. Excellent. You know what? I do, I do actually believe you. Uh, I believe that you put the, the time, the hundreds or whatever it was, thousands of hours into this. And for you, what is the key then when you prepare for a speech even now, now that you're a pro? You still do a lot of prep, don't well, you? Well, it depends. So the difference is back then, I thought practice was about memorizing the entire script, writing out all of the different words out there. But the truth is today, well, like, let's say this segment. Mm -hmm. I prepared for it, but my preparation was just the big picture context, the framework, the talking points, and that's the preparation. The preparation mm -hmm. that I would highly recommend a person to do mm -hmm. is not memorizing the entire script, but the context of it rather than the content. Yes. And it becomes a whole lot easier because that's when it, it, it takes the pressure off you. Because now it's just mm -hmm. the three things, the five steps, the framework. Yep. Context over content. I agree. Uh, speaking of tips, you have five tips for people preparing yes. for a speech. Sure. Let's yes. go through them. Number one is making it about the audience mm -hmm. rather than it being about you. I think like ah. the, the, the main reason why people have that pressure and that fear is because they're constantly focusing on themselves. Like, what if I look stupid? What if I say something that's incorrect? What if somebody throws a banana peel at me. Like they're thinking about all these different mm -hmm. outcomes and possibilities that probably will not happen because the focus on themselves. But, mm -hmm. and number one is really, if you make it about your audience, what it is that you want to do for them, the mm -hmm. value that you want to bring to the table, you'll realize that that fear yep. is going to go away. Let's move on to the second. Number two is really thinking about context, like I talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. If you think about the big picture rather than every single specific word, it is going to be a whole lot easier to actually prepare for it. Number mm -hmm. three is about being yourself and being you. Mm -hmm. And it is understanding that normal is boring. I think that what many people think public speaking is, mm -hmm. is about being this polished speaker where you go up there, you, you have to look good, when in fact it's just about being you. Your crazy side, your awkward side, yeah, your eccentric little, side. Right? That's what people want because the truth mm -hmm. is, Normal is boring. People don't want normal. People want to see the things that, is, that they don't usually see. Mm -hmm. And that's number three. Don't be normal because normal is boring. Be yourself. Okay. Number four is thinking about how can you really make the most out of your, uh, from, from your, for your audience and the value that you bring to the table and making it about them. Mm -hmm. So number four is think about what is the outcome that they want and make it about transformation rather than information. Mm -hmm. Look, if it was about the steps, the strategies, you'll become a commodity. That is when they could get the same answers of YouTube, of Google. If you wanna make a presentation that truly makes a difference, think about how can you get them to shift how they think, their behavior, their personality, because if it's just about the steps, everybody mm -hmm. knows the steps, but if you can change how they think, that makes all the difference. Okay, great. We're running out of time, but you want to offer a free copy of your book to people. How can they get their hands on it? Platformclosing.com. Mm -hmm.
The book is there. Uh, just need cover shipping, and that's how you can get a free copy if you want to discover how you can monetize what it is that you know and get your message out there to the world. Awesome. And uh, we should just touch on your company really quick, Smobile. Uh, you, you started that. What kind of service do you offer? It's so cool. I believe that everybody has a voice. And if you mm -hmm. want to discover how you can monetize what it is that you know, your knowledge, your life experience, that is what we do through workshops, seminars, books. And that's our mission. Awesome. Pink. Great to meet you. Thank you. Thanks for joining Thank you us for today. Us. Thank you. Yeah, all right. If you would like to improve your public speaking skills, get a copy of Ping's book. His website is up there right on the screen. Also, you can find him on Facebook. Best Seller Publishing is a proud sponsor of the Morning Blend.